a predator. How did you get the role in spite of Vince McMahon's wishes? I read for it. And I had an agent in Hollywood at the time. I used to go there as often as I could. And he got me an appointment with Jackie Birch, and they were casting the next Schwarzenegger movie, which was Predator, and the part of Sergeant Blaine, Special Forces, 6'4", 250. I fit it perfect, and I had the background for it. And I chewed tobacco, which was in the script. They asked me, can you chew tobacco? And I pulled out my Copenhagen and Red Man. I said, I've been chewing for 20 years. So it was not acting when I chewed tobacco and spit it on Carl's boots. <laughs> Why have you said before that's one of the best decisions you've ever made in your life? Well, because it got me, it, it, it gave me a union. It gave me the Screen Actors Guild. It gave me my retirement today. It gave me health care for my family to be a member of the Screen Actors Guild. Tell about, to get back to Predator, uh, your first encounter with Jean-Claude Van Damme. <laughs> Well, Jean-Claude was at the time a nobody living out of his trunk. And this was the first job he got. He was going to be the Predator. You know, they, they didn't know exactly what the Predator was going to be yet. I didn't even know what the Predator was till I went to a screening. They hadn't determined yet. Because remember, he was invisible to us. So they shot him completely separate. But Jean-Claude originally got cast for the Predator because I guess they felt with his karate agility and all that, he'd be able to move good through the jungle with this suit on. Well, I don't think Jean-Claude realized they weren't going to see his face. So he's a good kid. I love him today. But he got down there and did nothing but complain. So Joel Silver fired him. His first job, he gets fired, and Joel says he'll never work in Hollywood again. Jean-Claude goes up and signs a three-picture deal with De Laurentiis and is a big star now. So it goes to show you when they tell you you'll never work in the business again, Chances are you still may get an opportunity. So what's your favorite line from Predator? Uh, my favorite line, me personally, makes Cambodia look like Kansas. Was when you were... I know what you're waiting for. I ain't got time to bleed. <laughs> Actually, uh, I wouldn't give you that one, but it was because that was a scene that had been originally cut. They weren't going to shoot it. And that I wanted it shot because Richard Chavez and I were both Vietnam veterans, and we wanted to do a scene together, the two actual veterans. We were the real veterans of the platoon who had, he was Army, I was Navy. And, uh, and uh, so Richard and I wanted to do that scene. Arnold got sick, so they resurrected the scene. And I knew it would get in the film because John McTiernan, the director, never showed any emotion. But when Richard shot the thing and everything, and he says, you got time to duck, McTiernan walked away from that scene laughing. And he had never shown any emotion on any scene. So I knew, I said, that's going to be in the film because McTiernan found that extremely funny. For more clips from this interview, visit GrahamBensinger.com. <laughs>